Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're doing something different. As you know, we're going on all kinds of crazy adventures. So today we're out in the river and we're doing something called river treasure hunting. What that basically is, is we go out in the river, take our canoe out there and basically cruise around and see what we can find. People lose all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go out there, see what we can find and clean the river up too. So it's a win-win. Stick around guys, it's gonna be a fun time. See what's inside there. Oh, no way. There's actually money. It's okay, there's some really good stuff in this. All right, guys, we are cruising down the river right now, going to our favorite treasure hunting spot. Basically, right here along the shoreline. That's where the most stuff washes up. So, we're going to scan the shoreline, see what we can find. A lot of stuff does like to get washed up, like in these trees, so it's a great spot to check. Oh, I see something in there. See that? Got a first find right up there, I think. It's all the way back in those trees, though. Man, this is gonna be a pain to get. We can't go too far in there because our motor's gonna get like caught up in these trees. It's a beach ball. I see it back there. Got it! First find, not the most exciting thing, but we'll take it. Beach ball in the Boticos. All right, back out to hunt for more. But I do already see something right there, see that? It's white right up there ahead in those logs. Let's go see what that is. All right, we got a big old bumper here, big old crusty bumper. Should we even take this thing? I guess to get out of the water, but it's pretty trash. We're not going to keep that. Just throw it away probably. It's all wrapped up in this tree. All right, there's a second find right there. So the finds aren't great so far, but we got a ton of river to search still, so we're going to keep our hopes up. Yo, right there, see that? Something pink down there. Let's go see what that thing is. I think that's a noodle. And we always find these. Yeah, that's a noodle for sure. Like every time we're out here, there's always a noodle. Let's grab that. All right, guys, got a noodle here. This isn't worth like anything at all, but it's good to get this out of the water. So we'll throw that in the boat. Is that something right there? Let's go see what that is. Oh, no way. That's a squirt gun or like a super soaker. Let's grab that really quick. That is pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie, I love these things. 
test it out, see if it actually works. Bam, baby, that is awesome. Great find right there, probably the best so far. Hey, see something right there. It's like a tackle box. See what's inside there. Oh, no way. There's actually money. It's, okay, there's some really good stuff in this. Wow. Dude, there's money in this. Look at that. There's brass knuckles here. Okay. We're going to have to go through this later. Let's keep going, guys. This is so exciting, though. That is freaking amazing. All right, let's keep looking and go through this at home. All right, I couldn't help but take a second look at this. There's some incredible stuff in there. Man, that is one amazing find. I wonder who lost this. All right, this is going to be really exciting to go through, so we're going to save that for later. I did see something right in there, like by those trees caught up in there, so I'm gonna check that out. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's like orange, you can barely see that. Right, there it is, back like under that tree. It's like a flag or something. Let's go in there and grab that. Man, that is way down there. There we go, that's a paddle. It is broken on the end right here, but I mean, it still works. It's a pretty nice paddle too. It's got like a pull at the end, so we'll keep that for a spare paddle. Nice, in the boat it goes. All right, there might be something right there. I see something caught up in those weeds right there. It's orange. We got something. I can't see what that is too far away. Oh, it's a frisbee. Cool. We'll grab that. Hey, we just ran over a really big log right there. We're kind of stuck right now, so let's. Got it. Man, this is a real struggle just for this Frisbee. All right, we got it, guys. All right, I don't know if that was worth it. We'll keep it anyways. I mean, it's a Frisbee. We can use that. Pretty cool. So we're going to call it for today, but we found some really amazing stuff. I'm the most excited about this box right here. There is some freaking incredible stuff in there, and I'm excited to open that. We're going to save it till we get home. But other than that, we got the Frisbee, beach ball, bumper, squirt gun, paddle, noodle, and pretty basic stuff, but it was still really fun. Got all this crap out of the river and got some pretty cool stuff out of it. So yeah, it was a good day. got home and I'm really excited to go through this. You can kind of see what's inside this box. It's supposed to be a waterproof box, but I definitely see some water in there. I saw money in there. That got me really excited. I have no idea how much. I see brass knuckles, but I just want to get into this. Check this out. Right, what's inside? Ooh, look at that. It's a nice clump of cash right there. It's in a money clip. Brass knuckles. These are pretty badass. I think that's a Zippo. That's pretty cool too. The phone charger. So it looks like someone just like emptied their pockets in there. And they probably dropped this off their boat. Yeah, this container was not waterproof. That kind of sucks. I mean, nothing got ruined in there. Money's still good. The Zippo probably will work if we dry it out. I guess the phone charger won't work, bud. Who cares? So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see how much money we got though. I'm going to guess maybe a hundred bucks or let's see, 20... 
It's kind of wet. It's hard to go through. Let's take out the money clip. I don't want to rip it though. It's probably been in here for a, for a while. All right, we got 20, 40, ooh, 60. All right, it's kind of stuck. Ooh, 70, 75. 76, 77, 78. All right, 78 bucks right there. That is a nice chunk of money. That is really cool to find in the river. It's pretty incredible, guys. I like the brass knuckles a lot. Those are definitely badass. I would definitely use those. So what we usually do is we try to get this stuff back to the owner. Sadly, there was no like ID. We usually use ID to get the stuff back and then look the person up on Facebook or whatever. What we're going to do is actually hold on to this for, I don't know, maybe a month and see if anyone contacts us. So if you did lose this, go ahead and send us a message. Tell us the location you lost this. If you did lose it, you'll be able to identify where you lost it at. Not many people know where we're at, so yeah, we want to get this back to the owner if we can. If not, we'll end up keeping this. I know a lot of people are going to get mad saying we're stealing stuff, but really we're just cleaning up the river. We're going to try to find the owner, but if we can't, then we can't. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to try our best, but in the end, if we can, we're going to keep this. Actually, we'll probably give this away if we can't find the owner. Might keep the money, might give some of this away. I'm pretty sure these are illegal by us, so... Not sure what we're gonna do with those. Might give them away, I'm not sure. But if you guys want a chance to win if we can't find the owner, or actually any of this stuff we found, if you guys want a chance to win, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. And follow our Instagram and Twitter page, both links in the description. We always do giveaways on those. So if you want to enter, guys, make sure you follow those and then stay updated. And yeah, that's about it.